Hello and Happy New Year on our New Year's edition of Cover Stories with Ace Gian. He has the power to put videos up that can get 2 million views and zero likes. He's host and producer <laughs> of Fireline Entertainment. He's Alan G. Moser. <laughs> She's working on an app to play small children on silent mode. She's comedian Rosalie Mayu. <laughs> She's so hot, when you scroll through her photos, you have to wrap your phone in a koozie. She's comedian, Lania Dominguez. Here's an inside joke for you. Recently in the ER, her ER doctor suggested that she cut back on deli meats, so she quit cold turkey. She's my co-host, Melissa Greenberg. Here you go. Here you go. Stop me if you heard this one. A man walks into a New York deli and says, I'll have the knuckle sandwich. That's <laughs> right. A fight broke out at a Manhattan deli, possibly over an incorrect order. But after the deli worker showed him his upper cuts, the dispute was quickly resolved. I believe we have a clip of it here. Let's take a look. Mm hmm. Yeah. He wakes up in Dang. the morning. Okay, uh, no, uh, here's the aftermath of that, actually. Very good. Very good. You know something? <laughs> no soup for you! Come back one year! Next! Awesome, awesome, Me. awesome. All right, so. Oh, let's go around the table here. I did not prepare any questions for this segment. Uh, <laughs> it was a it was a long weekend, by the way. Uh, the the inside joke: Melissa had a long weekend herself. Uh, it was a crappy holidays for us here at Cover Stories. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I actually, uh, yeah, I choked on a piece of turkey, le yeah. legitimately. Like what? Yeah, it got stuck in my throat. I could breathe. I could talk. And I called like 911, I called the EMS and they came and they said, we can't do anything for you. And I said, okay, I'll just drive myself to the hospital. But like, I couldn't swallow nothing. And they said, okay, call us back if you need us. And I thought, <laughs> I need you, I need you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And after like, you know, um, I would say 10 hours or whatever, after, they after finally got died. it passed, <laughs> right? It, it went wow. and uh, they called me the next day and they said, you know, your co-insurance is 40%. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> and they said, that's $6,000. Oh, cha-ching. Yeah. I said, great. Are you there till five? Because I'm going to bring down cash. And <laughs> like, what? And I'm like, I'm totally lying. Just that makes that six thousand dollars makes that bite of turkey the most expensive thing anyone has ever eaten. Were you going to bring that in ones <laughs> or thousands? Right, exactly. Here you go. So uh, no. no. So I so yes, I have quit I'll quit all bird meat, cold turkey. <laughs> wait, wait. So you were? It was actually you in that deli slapping down the son of a, <laughs> who you sold you the motherfucking dry ass turkey. <laughs> That, I wish that I actually that guy. No, I actually did that turkey. It but, wasn't. But it, it wasn't a sorry. fight. It was actually the uh, Heimlich maneuver that people mistook for a, <laughs> a fight breaking out. No, uh -huh. I I know what happened in that deli. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. First of all, it was the employee that smacked the customer. Right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. like, hello, he needed it. Right. But second mm -hmm. of all, it was the order, and he probably ordered like bacon egg and cheese on a roll and everything was fine and then he asked for ketchup on it and yep. <laughs> yeah there you go yeah so and it. it was 5 a.m it was 5 a.m when this went down Putting ketchup on an egg sandwich yep yeah. uh yeah. 
that's a about- you know <clears throat> that's a good segue. Um, uh, Rosalie, what's the most disgusting thing you accidentally got in a uh, sandwich or whatever you ordered? Oh, I I definitely a fly and a coke in Mexico. That was that it was, was a uh, Spanish fly. Um, cool. I just I just tipped it out and kept drinking though because it was hot and uh, I was used to Guaraná in Brazil. Anybody else have Guaraná? No. So Guaraná is the Brazilian Coca Cola, right? Full of some drug that will make you so high. I think it's the old Coke, Guaraná. Guaraná. And I was in Mexico, asked for Guaraná, and I got a Coke, but it had a fly in it. So I think Guarana? that's the most disgusting. What? Is that Guarana? <laughs> the stuff we see on cans? G-U-A-R-A-N-A? Guarana is how you say it in Brazil. <laughs> is yeah. how you say it correctly. Oh, I am good at it. Correctly. Which reminds okay. me. I did, anybody adopt dogs during the, the COVID? Did you no. guys adjo- adopt, like, take in little pumpkin animals no no it's heartless sons of bitches i don't have any room i don't have any room from all the anybody i didn't see any dogs all the animals that i've already adopted yeah you go this is packed (laughs) (laughs) i think she's uh, snapping us around i adopted this little puppy and 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 he was like five and a half months old so i was pretty sure he had a name so i said what's his name and they said his name is portillo and i said oh portillo Oh, I'm going to be a white lady with a, you know, Hispanic name, though. I'm so open and, you know, and he's solid <laughs> black. And I thought, oh, that's a threefer right there. This is, I got all bases covered. Um, so a friend of mine, so a friend of mine speaks Spanish. She said, Rosalie was the name of your dog. And I said, um, I said, por Dio. And I said, I looked it up on Google because I'm white. And um, it said, uh, it said, it said it means a little back door. And my girlfriend said, nah, it means little backdoor hooker. You have a little. Yeah. So wow. they got me. There you go. They got just, me. Let's just, let's just get that white lady adopting that little Mexican. Well, he was from Anaheim. In all fairness, there's something. <laughs> so he totally talked like this and she couldn't even no, know. No, that yeah. makes him even more Mexican. <laughs> No, and then I got in so much trouble with this fucking writing group. Like they thought I was being so racist. I said I got him from the Ghetto Rescue Foundation. They said you can't say that, Rosalie. And I said, no, 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 dude, don't judge me. That's literally the name of it. The cops and the gangs got together and they formed something called the Ghetto Rescue Foundation. I didn't make this shit up. Wow, that could have been so much worse. (laughs) That's pretty cool, though. That's an actual place. It's an actual thing, the Ghetto Rescue Foundation, except that I look like I look in the land of Karens. And it's, it's I, I can't In the win. land of Karens. You do look Karen-y. You do look like you could be a Karen. You could. Hey, dude, the drinks. worst part is I was in a weed store and I wanted to go so Karen on somebody and I just, I couldn't. You can't go. <laughs> but well, she- you can't see. You can't go Karen on someone because you look too karen so Melissa, you would be an awesome Karen because you know Karen. No, I got Karen. No, no. <laughs> Melissa, no. Melissa, Melissa, heck no. No. Melissa I got would... Karen real bad. You no. got Karen by a nine-year-old in the park. <laughs> <laughs> they were destroying public property, and I said, "I'm going to have to ask you guys to stop doing that. That doesn't belong to you." And they were like destroying the structure, riding their bikes on it. And the the older one looked about. There was three kids, and the oldest one looked about eleven, and he looked at me and he said. Fuck you, fucking Karen. What are you going to fucking do about it? Yeah. Wow. Well, now I'm yeah. with, like, at the time, my six year old kids. Like, I have six year old yep. boy girl twins. And I went to go find this kid's mom. And I said to the, the littlest one, I said, Where's your mother? And he goes, Oh, we live miles away. I go, You do not. <laughs> I could just follow you home. Would you like that? So he calls his mother and he says, this lady's going to follow me home. So now she's screaming through the phone at me. <laughs> yeah. And she mm-hmm. sends another mother down. And I'm trying so hard not to strangle this kid because that's when someone would start taping, like Karen. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just, I said, I'm, I don't like your tone. I'm not sure I care for the way you're speaking to me. And, <laughs> uh, and it's like, if you know me, um, yeah, that's not me. Like I've got a like a vein that's like I'm stroking out. I'm just restraining <laughs> myself. I'm like, if that was my dad, <clears throat> you know, like oh my god. So the other mother gets there, and I'm trying to be super calm, 
and I'm explaining to her what the, I said, your kids are hanging around this kid. And, and he says, oh, he just let an F-bomb slip out, mom. He didn't actually say that to her. And then my six-year-old pipes up and he says, no, he said, fuck you, fucking Garen. And, and I'm like, thank you for having my back. And later he said, why did he keep calling you Karen? <laughs> <laughs> And now that's like, that's worse. Like when you hear cursing in my house, not, I mean, if, for example, you heard cursing in my house, mm -hmm. um, my boyfriend was joking one day and called me, oh, come on, Karen. And my, my son got really upset because he thinks that's like a really terrible thing to call oh, somebody wow. because of all these activities. So yeah, wow. I'm not a good Karen. And I just thought, what do they look at when they, what do they see when they look at me? No, but the thing is, I was going to say, too, to Linnea, she wouldn't make a good Karen because if you know Melissa when she's mad, she would uh, trend the new Melissa would be the new Karen because it comes it comes with it comes. She doesn't look like one. No, because I'll stay up all night. I was going to say all night and Google your ass and go down every dark web hole until I find like a naked picture of you in 10th grade. It comes with violence. It would be Karen with violence is basically what it is. I want to know what she's drinking. Well, it's probably uh, Guadana. Yeah. Did you fire? Guadana. 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 Cut me off in traffic. I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, man. Uh, Alan, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Have you ever sir. gotten to uh, fisticuffs for a. I uh, <laughs> like how I try to pull this right back into subject. Have you ever. <laughs> Have you ever been involved in fisticuffs in uh, any kind of fast Are you asking situation? if I've been in a fight in the subway? Yes, there you, you go. Or McDonald's. Uh, or or McDonald's. Mm, you know Food-related fisticuffs. Food-related. <laughs> uh, actually, no. I've actually no? never been in an altercation in a uh, any of those things. But I will chime in. You had asked a question. I, I want to say, uh, not Lene. Lene, yeah. Oh, someone help me out. Yeah. Not Lynn, not Lynn, Rosalie? Yeah. Rosalie? Was it Rosalie? It was Rosalie about the, uh, what was like the grossest thing you got in a sandwich or oh, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'm going to flip. I like how we're flipping back and forth there. Right. Flip back real quick. So um, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm I, I, I I'm a guy that likes mayo. I love mayo a lot. It tastes good. You know, I put it on sandwiches. It's good. So as a practical joke, my friends, uh, when I was doing the car dealing shit, when they sell cars, uh, they had ordered uh, a burger but with extra 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 mayonnaise and so when they came in oh it was so so disgusting i couldn't even it was like bread the meat but it was all white and it right. was it was so gross uh hence to say that yeah i love mail but not that much so that was like the grossest thing that probably in a, Aren't people in a who mess with your food funny? <laughs> Sometimes. <Yeah. laughs> you know, it's, I, I, I remember I was at a friend's house. Uh, this was like in high school. I was at a friend's house and his sister goes, hey, I'm um, making hot dogs. You want one? I said, yeah, sure. Why not? So she gives me this hot dog and I like took one bite and instantly vomited because apparently there's sick people in this world who put mayonnaise on a fucking hot dog. Oh, hey, that'd be me. Yeah. What you talking about? That's foul. Hey, that's, that's fantastic. Foul. Mm, that's foul on that's so many levels. Man. I don't mind mayonnaise, but not on a hot dog. <laughs> How about mayonnaise on pizza? Ew. Well, no. 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 Why would on, you do that? Wait, mayonnaise no, on tacos. Come over there. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise on, on tacos. tacos. Okay. okay. You guys heard of sour cream and ranch, right? Right. Right. Who now now listen, if you don't have sour cream on a taco, if they don't have sour cream, then you could substitute nope. for me. Nah. Nah. Yeah, you just can't. No, it's got a great not. taste to it. Same thing with ranch. No, you know what I mean? How you get punched in a deli. <laughs> you know what exactly. I mean? no, Was that what happened? Well, I don't think that He's having any punching me since uh, you know, I, I teach martial arts for a living. I I dare for them to try. So that'd be fun. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So you they, like they mayonnaise? Come. That's your thing, huh? Uh, you, you know what? Uh, no, well, I don't listen. I would not eat mayo. <laughs> I would not eat mayo with fries. I wouldn't eat a mayo shake. I mean, there's just some things I, I will put it. I wouldn't mayo eat with mayo. Fries would be good. He said, "No mayo fries and no mayo shake. No mayo." Yeah, better than that, we are and, good. And, and, He's and like, I like too. mayo on my taco, and I like mayos on my cake. Um, all right, Doctor Seuss. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, uh, Linnea, um, the, I actually would be the asshole in this story because 
I am the guy who complains at fast food places. I have been <laughs> that guy. Like I tell people there is a, uh, there's several faces you wear. There's well, two faces really. There's the face that everyone knows you as. Uh, like everyone goes, oh, you know, he's so nice. He's this, he's that. And then there's the face that people saw at the uh, McDonald's drive through of you throwing packets of honey mustard at the employee because you said <laughs> fucking <laughs> hot mustard, not honey mustard. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah. which one are you, Linnea? <laughs> I don't get mad, really. I really don't. I, I mean, I just, no, I pick my battles. It is what it is. I really never had like fast food or shit like that growing up. And so whenever I do now, I really don't trip out. If they, recently I got a burger and some it, somebody bought lunch for me and it had, I don't like onions, but it had onions on it. And I'm not going to complain because I didn't have to pay for the burger. So I was grateful. I was like, <laughs> eh, I can get past it. Or I can take them off. Um, but I don't really complain too much. Maybe... I did. Oh, okay. So the other day we went to Jack in the box. I asked for a, a large French fry for my daughter because I mm -hmm. wanted to have some. So the large French fry was very empty. So there was a lot of space at the top and those were going to be for me, my half. So I went back <laughs> around. Actually, no, I went inside and I said, this doesn't look like a large, fr see, look at all the air. This doesn't look like a large fry. However, it worked in my favor because then she gave me a large fry. So now I had my little fry and her large fry and it all worked go. out. There you go. The yes. yeah, jack in the box for hey. making it right. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's funny you say that. I've noticed that this year in particular, I don't know if it's just because of the pandemic or something. They used to, like, if they messed up your order, this is a little tip for all you people in the fast food out there, uh, in the fast food line. Uh, I've noticed several times this year if they messed up our order, I've gone back around in the drive thru and I'm like, oh, you know, the, you, you made a mistake. I ordered this, I ordered that. And they just go, keep it and then we'll fix your order. And they get, so now you got more yeah, food than Ace, you started off Ace, with. I got to ask that question real quick. How long was that line to get back the second time around, though? Because, man, that is nasty. No, luckily, every time I would go, there would be like nobody around, like maybe two or three cars or something. Um, but people well, lucky, are lucky for you. <laughs> right now, I think right. I think because people are so gracious to to even have a customer or even have yeah. a business, or be able to still be working, or people are over accommodating, you know, to a yeah. degree. At least I've experienced that in a lot of restaurants, fast food, retail. They're just oh, they're just grateful to have you there. Yep. So yep. hopefully people don't take advantage of that since you just gave them that little pointer, Ace. <laughs> uh, sorry, is this Ace Keen? Yeah, we saw your show. Uh, no, we're not taking your order. You can go fuck yourself. Have a nice day. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. Now we're going to move on to a segment where we have no idea what the hell is about to happen next because oh, no. uh, this is um, going to be uh, express news from around the world. It's going to be mm. Expresso News with Melissa Greenberg. Oh man. <laughs> Yes. You can drink my cup of coffee. There oh. you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. This is a, this is going to be an unusual segment because um, usually I have articles and you guys the, or the comics don't know ahead of time what's coming. Um, not that it matters. Not that we stick to topic anyway. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that's trending. I usually do world news. And this is almost world news because it's almost about Spain. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, is it about France because they're close? What? That's, no, that's the best no, no. punchline because I already know what this story is. <laughs> well, no, we were, um, you know, we've been kicking it around because the internet basically exploded and we, we didn't understand why. I don't know if you've heard of Hilaria Baldwin. <laughs> She's married to Alec Baldwin. And no one knew or cared about her until two days ago. Um, the, apparently, she's over the years has maintained an identity that includes being born in Mallorca, Spain, and having sort of a Spanish and American culture. <laughs> to the extent that I'm like, I don't even have to read the article. To the extent that she's um, she's given interviews and she's got kind of a you know, a latent Spanish accent, a little bit of something. There was a cooking show in which she forgot the word for, um, how you say in English, cucumbers? You know, she's, <laughs> this is how. <laughs> and then over the, you know, that same year in and out, 
she's lost the accent. It's sometimes there, sometimes not. And somebody just blew up the internet saying, you know, she's really committed to this grift of being from Spain and you have to admire that. And I mean, like she's given interviews to Ola magazine and like Spanish magazines in which she's represented as being Spanish. Turns out um, her, she's from Boston. Um, her parents are from Vermont and Massachusetts and like have roots in America predating the American revolution. Like Ace was like, oh, who cares? You know, anybody can, we were talking about this before the show and he goes, you know, anybody can, can misrepresent some facts if they don't like somebody. So we actually started looking into it and it, yeah, there's nothing Spanish about her. How dare you? <laughs> and, <Yeah>. Like <laughs> nothing. And she, she basically was like, well, you know, I spent a lot of time going back and forth. I visit my family. So, you know, when they're home in Spain, her parents moved to Spain, but they moved in 2011 when she was 27. So she maintains like, oh, I would go back and forth and visit my parents. And, you know, my family is there. So you think, oh, she's got roots in Spain. And there's interviews where she's talking to Alec and she'll turn, oh, muy malo, you know, like just dropping some, just dropping some Spanish in there. So, um, yeah, she's getting razzed pretty hard. Like she quit social media for five minutes. You know how celebrities do. <laughs> That's it. I'm off Instagram. You'll never see me again until my publicist tells me, you know, to go yeah. back on. Is she moving to Canada yet? <laughs> no, but Spanish culture has been a part of her whole life. You know, like she's mm. trying to, I'm a white girl, but I'm diverse. And if by white, you know, like her diversity means like, all of New Hampshire and Vermont. You know, and- <laughs> you know, you know it would be Midwest? great. That's they, the Midwest. They're, they're basically- I mean, East, East Coast, East Midwest, yes. East something. So I wondered if Alec Phil's cheated, though. No, Alec- he defended her. He doubled down. Like, I'm thinking, don't you have to know at home, like, when she's not talking like that? Like, Dude, how great, like- though. How great, though, if she just totally screws up all of her, like, Spanish history or anything, and she's just really and she's like, I'm really into the uh, Red Bull fighting, and, uh, <laughs> and she's there are she's, a lot of really she, good parodies. She's all she's at the Christmas party going last Christmas. I give you my heart the very next I, day. I watched numerous away. interviews <laughs> in which Alec Baldwin was talking to her, and there was they were being interviewed by um it was an entrevista interviewed by Ola or somebody, and. He said, so he's talking to them saying, this is a good idea, right? How do you say that? And she goes, oh, buen idea. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no. I had Spanish in ninth grade. And it's not idea, buen idea. So whatever. Um, but, but the question comes up about cultural appropriation. And because I guess she feels so connected to Spain that it's been okay to have this identity. You can and- identify now? Let me say, yeah. let like, me say, I got my dog from her. Oh, you have <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Uh, my yeah. dog is totally Spanish from Hilaria. It's a country, <laughs> a small country a small on the country. South, south side of Spaniel. Spaniel. Her name's <laughs> actually Hillary. Like, <laughs> oh, Hilaria. Shit. That's Hilaria. It's, yeah. a, <laughs> it's a, it's a cocker Spaniard. It's Hilaria. <laughs> it's a cocker Spaniard. <laughs> so do you think it's okay? Like, I mean, it's not that I question? care about her, but no, it just makes her she, clearly. It just shows how stupid and and <laughs> yeah. it's just it's just very factual. Like she's 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 she's, ex, she's exposed her lack of intelligence. She's dumb because nobody can say that they're from that area if they're not from that area. I mean, you could say it, but you're not. I mean, and everyone's proved her wrong, which is great. Did she ever get a sunburn? Because you know, <laughs> well, you know. I'm just on her saying, vagina. A comparison. It's not a dog. Good. You know. I mean, she looks, I mean, she could, sure, she wears her hair dark. I mean, she could be, there's no saying what anybody is when you look at them, they could be anything, but it's it's really that she's done interviews with a Spanish oh. accent. Acting, acting like it. Wait a minute, it just occurred to me, I, I made a reference to something we were talking about off air. <laughs> I said to, on yeah. her vagina. I did so, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, uh, just to catch up anybody that's watching, uh, sunburn be- penis and sunburn oh. vagina was in the conversation pre-show, pre-taping. So, uh, <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> 
So. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, no, I think I think she's an ass. And I think she tried to capitalize on being exotic and she's not fucking you're not exact exotic from Boston. She's Boston. Exo- she's she's Boston. exhausting. <laughs> if you're from Boston, Boston, you're exhausting, dude. Boston. She's got classmates she's from high school, like that are just like, oh my god, I've waited years for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let the tweets begin. You feel kind of bad because you know she's clearly getting cyberbullied. Everyone's making fun of her and shaming her. And yeah, you know, but if you deserve it, you brought it on yourself. Right. Yes. Yeah. And True. she keeps going back on the air to, you know, to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> well, Todd, take a DNA test. You know, when it I said I was better, from Spain. It would be better if she went back on the air to say, yeah, guys, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's it, I just I just wanted to seem better. But I, but it, clear, it wasn't that wasn't the case. Just yeah, be humble you, you and know, be open the, and talk about being thing. an idiot. Hey, what happens if 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 she takes a DNA test, right? And it comes like her great great grandma, you know, father or mother was from from Spain. Okay. I mean, what that's, if it, it's a possibility. Explain the accent, right? N- right. Right. <laughs> no, I give it to <laughs> uh, Maybe she's uh, trying to really, you I, know, to give it that is, full cucumber. Full, <laughs> cucumber. How do you say cucumber? Cucumber. 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 <laughs> cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. Yeah, it, 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 cucumber. But she explained that by saying it, it mattered, depending she's, on where her emotions were. She was very emotional. She's, she's like she, she has, he identifies. You know well, when you're Latin, your your emotions go up and down. When you're Latin, yeah. Yeah. she's yeah. like she's like. Como se dice? How do you say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and we're, we're, I was make, we're making fun of Ace because he's Mexican and, and doesn't speak Spanish. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. But, okay. okay. Yeah. Knows he knows a few words. Out. I'm he sure knows, Ace uh, knows a few words. You say cucumber? <laughs> oh, well, wow. Okay. Okay. I just found out that I'm, well, a couple months ago that I'm Jewish. So I'm 49% Ashkenazi. Yeah. That explains these words. That They're explains so, so much. What's that? <laughs> that, that, explains so that explains so much. Why? Yeah. Why? I want to know. I'm just I know but, what it means. I don't I, I just no. want to know so much. But now I was like, now I started talking to myself in Jewish like Jesus. So now <laughs> I got a Jewish a Jesus. Jew- Jesus voice. Yes. What? So now I hear him say he's like, let me ya. Let me ya. How many times have I told you not to <laughs> hang with the people that don't have teeth? Let me ya. So I'm working on a Jewish Jesus. I know oh, it's no. in there. I don't know what a Jewish person sounds like. So I Googled Jesus it. Jesus was Jewish. Jesus was Jewish. I know. So you know that. I, know. I, know. I, I found that out too. So, um, not to, which means not to I'm rain. kind of Jesus y. Like, I'm kind of Jesus likes. <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> I, was, I don't know. I just know that there's, a, there's <clears throat> more to me than there was. A few months ago. Do you, there you go. Uh, I know you 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 booked me for shows, but you never saw me do the Last Supper bit where everyone was Jewish at the table, where Jesus Jesus never looks happy in every photo, and like even at Last <laughs> Supper, even at Last Supper, he's like, "Oi, vey, who's gonna pay for all this? What about you, Judas? Where did you get money? Oh, I got money for my disability check. I got that backstabbing, pa- uh, you know, yeah." And then well, I talk. The food is bad, but the portions are huge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we come here every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Yeah. No, I haven't heard that. I need to. I'm trying to learn so much now. And it's funny because uh, my son, he did his DNA. He's 26% Jewish. And so he swears that's why he's so smart and why he's such a good, he's intellectual and a good businessman. And I go, you realize you weren't raised Jewish, but he seems to think it's in the DNA. Mm-hmm. That he's is bad at sports. What's that? Is he bad at sports? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he didn't do. He was good in baseball he, for a minute. He, it, it's just interesting that he. I'm not taking this. I'm not gonna burst his bubble because he just really is. Proud so wait, 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 wait. what was your percentage? Forty nine percent. And he was twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. Yeah. Do you need to explain really, where they came uh, from on this no, race? No, no. You know, I was about yeah. to do. <clears throat> it, it just didn't seem right if I passed up on a Jewish joke for today about how they were just yeah, go going. Ahead. They were just haggling lower and lower with the DNA results. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Get that coffee. 
<laughs> Sniff that coffee. <laughs> Sniff it. Well, the thing that here's the irony. So I I perceive Jewish people to be smart because a lot perceive. of oh my god. Oh my wait, that was, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. I have to cut you off. That was more racist than the joke I just made. I don't know if you know. <laughs> that. What? And they're very good with yeah. money. <laughs> Why is it racist? How fucking what an insult is it to be called? Well, smart? That's like saying Asians are good at math, and then like, <laughs> and that's yeah, such a burn. Like, yeah, I hate it when people call me that. But what if they're not? To perceive, <laughs> I'm broken. So. so I say so. Here, but no, listen. So here's my thought. My theory is <laughs> Jewish people are smart. There's a lot of doctors and all these things with Jewish last names, and so. <laughs> Right. 48 years ago, because I'm 48, 48 years ago, there was a Jewish man that lowered his standards to sleep with my mom. Is she Catholic? No, but <laughs> she's she's a shyster. Like, my mom was a con artist. She just, she was so bad all the time. And she was either on drugs or sleeping with lots of people. So it, she pulled a fast one, though, on this bar, smart Jewish guy enough to, well, make me. He just did so, it to piss off his parents. <clears throat> so, oh, I'm sure. Well, and so, they would be. Uh, they would be. <clears throat> So, uh, as as the uh, the uh, resident Jewish uh, cast member here, Melissa, um, yeah. Yeah. you you get a free shot at Catholicism today. And uh, <laughs> what else? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I was actually going to say that there's a lot of the same undercurrent there, like what yeah. Jews and Catholics. They like I was I was married to somebody whose family was Catholic for a while, and um, yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, they, yep. they have the Italians, like Jews and Italians. Mm, pretty yeah. much the same. Yep. Okay. That's how I think. <laughs> that was the whole Holy premise of Goodfellas, good. wasn't it? <laughs> no, her food is about to get real bad. <laughs> now you get to add 3,000 years of oppression and sadness to your food. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Riddled with it. But, oh, but you're not Catholic, huh, Lenny? No. No. She had to think about it. I know she did. <laughs> which is a sign. Which is the first me. sign. Find out my the first sign of a Catholic. Name. What's up? <laughs> which is the first sign of a Catholic? What am I? <laughs> well, not knowing or denying it or all the above. Yeah. Well, that and then and then the guilt. So if you're Jewish Catholic, you're fucked. You're really guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cutter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cutter. <laughs> Case. There's a lot to unpack in this show. <laughs> this is a weird episode. Happy New Year! Oh yeah, Happy New Year! <laughs> All right, you want to do the the well the next one is yeah, sort of a tag. Back. <laughs> okay, you guys might enjoy this one better. Okay, <laughs> what never mind, Laria. <laughs> um, okay, so a few shows ago, we talked about the bodybuilder from Russia who uh. married a sex doll, like married her in front of friends they were dating oh. for a while they had to postpone the wedding because of coronavirus here's um i got let's say find a, some nice pictures. no nice pictures of the happy couple let me put these up close for the love of god wow yeah there you go. Wait, she's hot yeah no there she's, you she's go. very nice um yeah and and so we we you know we explored that for a bit oh let's see she doesn't she doesn't say much but yeah she's pretty hot Right, but you know, like, like they're very sexy together. They're like, they, they look nice. You, you know? probably saved money on the marriage because uh, on the wedding because you know she don't have any family, so you know. Right, it was yeah. So it was a, it was a, they had to postpone. You don't, that. you don't know how many bots came to that. Could have been a big affair. True, true. It yeah. depends on how much money he had yet to, to buy the family. Oh, yeah. They met in a nightclub where she was receiving mm. a lot of unwanted attention. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well. And, uh, he kind of rescued her. They dated and just, it's just magical. Inst since then now, I follow both of them on Instagram. Oh, wow. <laughs> they both have an Instagram. Well, then oh, I'm, yeah. waiting, I'm waiting for that movie, Mannequin 3, yeah. to come up and start But going. since then, because I was like, oh, I can't wait till they announce she's pregnant or something. Right. Yep. That's going to be nice. So they got married uh, end of November. Um, and uh, she broke, tragically, before Christmas. And they don't say how. <laughs> Can you say that again? You said what? He broke. She what? Not broke. She, she broke. Oh, she <laughs> broke. She is broke. She is broken. Mm. He's not working. He's not wor it's not working. Okay. I wonder if so how sad. Like he's holding her up broken. Yes. And he <laughs> did like lose a limb broken or what kind of broken? You he got a bad sunburn. People, I guess they followed <laughs> up on the, the media followed up on their, you know, the newlyweds and <clears> said, uh, 
Let's see. Uh, Yuri Tolochko from oh, Kazakhstan is now waiting to see if his wife, called Margot, can be repaired in time for Christmas. This is right before Christmas. Okay. And that's celebrated January 7th in his country. Um, she is broken. Now is being repaired. <laughs> she is in other city. When she recovers, it will be gift for both of us. Oh, oh my! I, I wonder how it's he sweet. It's it. sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. I wonder this how he like a it. live Blade Runner, uh, futuristic twenty twenty one Blade Runner becomes one of the happy lifestyle in Russia. Oh, I, yeah, I love it. That. I that love that you use that Blade Runner reference. Yeah. That's uh, cuz that's exactly what happened. Yeah. She right was here. A, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see it in this picture, but I mean this guy's a bodybuilder. He's totally into like fitness, his appearance and whatever. He is covered in fur. Oh. Like I feel so bad. <laughs> like Teen Wolf, like Teen Wolf fur? Yeah, he looks like he's wearing a sweater. <laughs> Wow. Just, I'm like, really? Like, if you love her, shave your back. Hmm? Wow. Yeah. It's sad. Well, he's like a nice looking guy. Yeah. 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 He, he describes himself as pansexual. <laughs> oh, oh Lord. Okay. I'm like, mm-hmm. so, yeah. She's so, the only one who so never think, criticized his fur body. Yeah. I, can, I see it. Yeah. They, they are, um, they're, <laughs> they're a tight couple. But uh, yeah, yeah she's broken. And uh, yeah, I look forward to reporting back when she's better. Yeah, that's so, actually, that's that really, like that really it does kind of hurt my feelings a little bit because clearly she means a lot to him. And that's kind of a weird, because you yeah. know, you know, you get uh, attached to things like, you know, something little. Um, well, I don't no, want to say your don't. phone. Nope. No, don't. I don't want to yeah. say your phone because that's a that's a common thing. But I'm saying like, uh, like, let's say you have a favorite stuffed animal or something like that's uh, a big that's a big thing. Right. Or a favorite toy you or something. Marry it? Kid. You right. marry no, no, it? no, no. But I'm saying like in order to kind of relate a little bit to this story is imagine your favorite stuffed animal, your favorite sweater, your favorite jacket, whatever, and you lost it or it was destroyed. Like now amplify you that. it so much. The eye <laughs> yeah, fell off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah but I, have a pers- I have a, I have a perspective of that. So ch- think of what he was doing with her to make her die. So no. chances are, you know, he was getting crazy with the head and, shit she punctured and he's like oh my wife oh my wife so her head punctured <laughs> so he punctured we don't know if it was well yeah depending on, was, never mind but she could have been the, healthy yeah. heart exploded broken she, she what she, all it said was she's broken you know, know what though uh, like she, she i know you, I, I know all of your guys's mind is in the gutter <laughs> but i like to think that she was helping him put up christmas lights and, and she broke a nail and she broke a nail <laughs> she fell off she fell off the roof and she broke a nail he uh, wasn't i have fallen off a roof and you're right that can broke you yeah. <laughs> she's getting the finger fixed that's what it is <laughs> she's getting the finger fixed he, no, she, I fell like off the tree. Story she fell off the tree oh god oh what hey how- how great would that be if she comes back and she's got like two different color legs? It's just like a Barbie doll. <laughs> they just swapped out. The- oh, but she, and she's in another fits. city. Being repaired. I guess they don't have the means in the, to, to do this kind of operation. They don't have the technology. In. It's all like Best Buy when it says that it's not available at this location, but it's like 20 miles away. <laughs> You're like, I got to go to the next city to pick this what, up. What nationality <laughs> is uh, is is Margo? Is that Crazy a town. Yeah. Well, they're... <laughs> Well, he's from Kazakhstan, so there's some flavor of Stan. Uh, nice. <laughs> I was just trying to see if Spain was involved, you know. Oh, I would say more more Russian than than okay. that. Just check, just just check, you know. <laughs> you know, there's a whole bunch of Borat here. I'm not doing so. And so, <laughs> since I think it'd be funny if she came back as an amputee. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That wouldn't look good on Instagram. No, seriously, you want a good time? I mean, I looked at his Instagram and almost threw up. But hers is Margot <laughs> underscore party honestly Margo party check it out it's better than anybody's so, how, her in how great really- how great would that be because she's a russian doll how great would that be if when she broke there was a smaller version of her inside, inside. 
That's very clever. And inside that is a little tiny voting machine. Now, now <laughs> Melissa, I have to ask, Melissa, can I ask you a question? Yes. If uh, are, do you like movies? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm only asking Sales because pitch. if 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 they ever made a movie of these two, would, oh, would you, you uh, would you watch it? Oh yeah, they yeah, already made a movie of this. Okay. They've oh, made yeah. several. They've made several of these movies. I'm following. Oh, great. Right. <laughs> oh, no, with these two, with these. Oh, never mind. I think I know where Ace well, with that. What was I mean, it? I uh, watch all of it. But like, was <laughs> was it Mannequin One and Two? Right. Yeah, but yeah, right, right, right. But I'm talking with these two actual really oh. with the Russian dude. Oh, yeah, yeah with these, these two people guys. mean something to me now. That's what I'm saying. I if fell you saw in love. A, a full on movie with these two. How great. Yeah. Oh, dude, you know what? Missed opportunity right here. That would have been a great reality show following them two around. Like, just. Well, if he could stop breaking her. <laughs> well, that's part of it. Oh, and then there's like that dramatic episode where she's at the hospital for repairs, you know, and like, and they just oh, really hook her up it. to an EKG just machine. just showing on another <laughs> plastic vagina. Yeah. You know, oh, just... he'll, hey, he'll break her again, so it'll happen. She's got a little button for an eye and stuff, yeah. <laughs> swapping out, you know, the swapping out the plastic vaginas, you know, like they just, like Legos. <laughs> she melted. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> and she melts, right? They got the glue gun. Oh shit, that didn't work. He's Margo po- for? He's Margo Potato Head. <laughs> Margo Potato. Eyes and ears, mouth and nose too. No? No. Wow. Very good. No, I'm following them. They're important to me now. There you go. Well, that says a lot about you. You gotta let us know. You gotta let us know what happens. I know. I know. Watch this space for details. Stay okay. tuned. Get us out of here, Ace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this has been Expresso News with Melissa Greenberg. Good evening. Here's the news flash. <laughs> Yep, me too. <laughs> that scared me, man. <clears throat> oh no, that was the uh, that was the late <laughs> great Benny Hill, who, by the way, was my favorite comedian when I was a little boy. Was pretty much my main inspiration when I very first started doing comedy, and I found out that he and I had the same exact birthday. January 21st. And uh, yeah, so that means a lot wow. to me. So yeah, um, <clears throat> so yeah, me and my hero shared the same birthday. Um, there you go. Okay, Blades of Gory. Almost mm. 200,000 ceiling fans were recalled after reports that the b- blades fly off faster than a twist than a twisted tea can Ooh, to the yeah. face. We do have footage of the ceiling fans uh, that were breaking. And I believe we have it here. Oh. This is going to be bad. This is going to be real bad. Oh! Damn! Wow. That was some special effects going on there. Yeah. Alan. Um, yes, sir. You uh, do a lot of crazy windmill kicks. Uh, you ever worry about your legs flying off? Uh, for those of the, that don't know, Alan does martial arts, and uh, yeah, so he's got a, yeah, yeah. So he he's been broken yeah. a couple of times. I've um, been broken. Uh, I could I could tell a quick story of my legs didn't completely fall off like that, but it, it felt like it. Uh, so uh, maybe when I was like seventeen years old, um, you know, I'm like this far away uh, from the splits, and of course, my instructor at the time uh, said, "Hey." Um, I'm going to help you out there to finish go all the way down. I said, what do you mean? He said, don't ask, just trust me. And I said, okay, of course you trust your instructor. And uh, so he said, close your eyes. I said, okay. He said, take a deep breath. Oh, I said, okay. Man. And he has, has, now, like I said, I'm about this far away. Now, if I was been a lot farther, I probably wouldn't have done it. But I'm this far away. Just take a deep breath, takes my hips and goes, like that, right? And I'm, I, I, yeah, and I felt like the windmill. I felt like the windmill. I don't know if my legs look like it, but it felt like it. And then now is a martial artist. You can't, you can't um, cry and cry, get upset, whatever. (laughs) So as I'm starting to tear, he's like, uh, if, if you need to cry, I need you to, I need to leave. And I'm like, well, I can't get up. (laughs) So he takes my foot and drag and he drags me across 
to his office and he says, when you're done, you can come back and finish. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I felt my leg like that. But <laughs> you punch him in the balls. And say, no, I would. You know what? I, I was heavily into the whole martial arts. I mean, I'm still am, you know, but like, you know, uh, heavily, you know, I respected him and, you know, so it was fine. It was OK. <laughs> Did you break anything? No, it was OK. Huh? Did you break anything? No, 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 because like I said, it, old school stuff like that. I mean, you know, sometimes you could it, 50 50, you could, it could hurt an upper. But like I said, if I would have been like really far away from the splits, he probably wouldn't have done that because I probably would have broke, broke something. But he's done it for so many years. He I guess, yeah. obviously already knew it. And like I said, I wasn't that far away. It was because you know how you get to your breaking point. Yeah. And mm -hmm. but you need that little extra um, to get things done. Yeah. He just gave me a little extra, um, you know what I mean? Not the oomph I... like we saw a second ago, but yeah. <laughs> I uh, about six years ago, seven years ago, was doing uh, stretches and I tore my groin. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was a uh, doing groin, <laughs> doing doing groin stretches, and I remember uh, having to go for like a. They did like a little ultrasound thing, and they're like, uh, "Does that hurt?" And I go, "Yeah." And they go, "Oh, it goes all the way down here. Does that hurt?" I was like, "That's why I'm here, dude." <laughs> so. Yeah. And how long does that take? To I did the same thing. Well, I did a cartwheel. Stretch my groin, and I, it still hasn't healed. It's like it's been six months at least. Uh, give it a year. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say it's yeah. it's not till you stop noticing it when you realize it got better. Because <laughs> yeah. there's it's nothing you can do, like yeah. nothing. Yeah. I I I do stretches. I've taken ibuprofen. Yeah. Obviously, I just it hurts forever. It just depends yeah. on it just depends on age. I mean, age is a fact. I don't know anybody's Probably, aging here, yeah. but just saying like, Careful. you know, when you're in your early twenties <laughs> and teens, that stuff happens. You're done. Thirties and forties is a little harder. Fifties, sixties is a lot harder. You know yeah. what I mean? 70, 80, 70, 80. Good luck. You know, I don't so. get where anybody could give me that extra oomph. So yeah. keep your oomph. Yeah. Well, when, when I saw this, it was like, just, this happened just last week. The, does anybody know the term windmill? Yes. Go with, yes. go windmill. I, I had never heard it. So this girl was talking about this guy that had abused his wife. And so she approached him and just went wind. She said, I went windmill on him. And I went, what? I oh, did you not mean know just that flailing your arms windmill that it, it's yeah. like, you have yeah, to yeah, fight yeah. like, you know, but I, I had never heard that before, but then mm. I realized and remembered that as a, as a little girl, my brother was, six four so i had a, he was one of those people that tended to pick you up and throw you across the room <laughs> so in order to beat up my big brother i had to sucker punch and go windmill on him and it works it's i i don't know why i don't think of that more as an adult and carry that out you know often because as a kid <clears throat> it totally works no, you know, it's funny if uh, if you've ever taken a self-defense class, one of the very first things they teach you is it doesn't matter what you do, just fight back. Even if you're flailing your arms, in fact, you become a harder target to kind of okay. to hit or grab to if you're hey, wildly, man. you know what I mean? Yeah, because if you're yeah. going like this, nobody's going to be able to get to you. So you it's, just got to keep doing it's it. It's almost like... I'm yeah. telling you, man, I was good. I could windmill. I could sucker punch. One of the luckiest <laughs> shots I ever got in was I faked a, an uppercut and went for the gut and ran like a motherfucker. It was... <laughs> I was. I got away with it. It's almost the opposite of like how it's hard to pick up a little fat kid because they just collapse. <laughs> You're like, ah! <laughs> so... Wow. My dog does that. He fucking collapses. <laughs> They know. They I have know a cat. No, hit. I was gonna say I have a fat cat that does that. He he just collapses. No, like, how really? do you squeeze out so easily, dude? Um. So, but let I me... want to know about those. Yeah. I want to know about those 190 thousand fans. Right. But I want the reports of what the damage did right. because I mean, it instantly took me back to a um a James <laughs> Bond movie, the guy with the stars. Right. You know, it was like, <laughs> then it just sticks to the walls. All like, yeah, 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 they were so cool. Did yeah. we nail anybody? I mean, the fact that they all broke is one thing, but did we? <laughs> did they nail anybody? Where's the reports? Where's you the? Know, where's well, the those people this are happened dead. In Florida. <laughs> those so. people uh, are dead. <laughs> wow. They weren't around to report it. These are the hundred ninety thousand were the survivors. That's what happened. You know what? If I was in Florida, this is how I would. This is what I know they'd be doing. Right. I'd be like, oh, my God, the fan blades came off. Oh, and then I'd get underneath it 
<laughs> just be like, oh, <laughs> my ovaries. Ah. Wow. It damaged my Picasso. Yeah, you start on the insurance picture, claims. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't get up. Can't hey, do math anymore. So uh, you know what's scary? Okay. <laughs> so I want to thank my guests t- this week, uh, Alan G. Moser, Rosalie Mayu. Did I get that? Right? There she is. And then uh, Linnea Dominguez, Melissa Greenberg. My name is Ace Gian, and this has been Cover Stories.